हेलो क्लास लेक्चर वी आर स्टडीड द एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी एंड द क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी नाउ दिस लेक्चर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड मोनोइडी मोनोइडी सेटिस्फाइज द आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी सो फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द व्हाट इज द आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी सो अ सेट जी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑपरेटर जी स्टार विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑपरेटर स्टार सो जी कॉमा स्टार स्टार सेटिस्फाइज द आइडेंटिटी प्रॉपर्टी इफ द एलिमेंट्स ए बिलोंग्स टू अ जी एंड ई so this e is called as the identity element so let us understand what is the identity element so e also belongs to a set g and uh, operation a star e will give, will give you the same element that is a so identity element is that element on performing operation on which you you will get the same element so any element that is performed an operation with e will provide you the same element okay so this is called as the identity element now let us take an example the same example we will repeat of a set n that means natural numbers which range is from 0 to infinity uh, 1 to infinity and an operator as a plus okay now uh, for plus we will uh, check any number let us say number as 2 now we have to perform an operation on 2 such that we will get the result as 2 so 2 plus which element will give the result as 2 so 2 plus 0 will give the 2 uh, let us take some another element 100 of natural number on performing an addition on 0 will give the 100 okay now this 2 belongs to a natural number so 2 belongs to a natural number but 0 that is e that you are using doesn't belongs to a natural number so 0 doesn't belongs to a natural number so that's why the natural numbers and a plus operator will not satisfy the identity property now let us take an another example let us say a set of integers and a operator plus like okay, now uh, clearly you can say that uh, integers ranges from the uh, range of integers is from 0 to infinity so as 0 is element so you can easily say that uh, if you take an example as a equals to 2 then 2 plus 0 is equals to 2 100 plus 0 equals to 100 and this 2 belongs to z as well as 0 belongs to a z similarly here 100 belongs to a z as well as 0 belongs to a z so 0 is the element for a integers uh, which will give the same number so 0 is called as the identity now remember for any addition operation the zero is a identity element and for multiplication for example if we take a z operator and star so a star element which will give you the a element so which is which is the number that is present in integer set and will on multiplication okay so like i write this as multiplication will give you the result as same element so that element is called as the one so identity is element for addition for addition addition e is equals to 0 for multiplication multiply e is equals to 1 so remember this for addition the identity element is 0 and for multiplication identity element is a 1 okay now let us define uh, the uh, uh now we will define the uh, monoid so what is monoid so now you can clearly tell what exactly is a monoid so what is mono monoid so you can say that monoid is a semi group why we are saying this as a semi group because semi group satisfies the closure and associative property so semi group which satisfies identity property is monoid so say that same group that satisfies the identity property is called as the monoid now remember this identity property here now this identity property is required for the next uh, type we are going to study that is a group so inverse 
So group is called as uh, a group when it satisfies the inverse property. Okay, now let us first understand what is the inverse property. So inverse property is a set G with respect to operator star, that is G comma star satisfies the inverse property if the elements A, A inverse and E all belongs to a set G and the operation A into A inverse will should give you the identity element. Okay, now in uh, previous we have studied the natural numbers and plus is not satisfying the identity property. So we will discard this example and we will take the next example as Z comma plus. Okay, now Z comma plus satisfies the identity property because the range of Z is from 0 to infinity. The range of Z is from 0 to infinity and for this operation identity element we have found as identity is equals to 0. Okay, that is 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 0 is 3, or 100 plus 0 is 100. So, 0 is the element that gives you the same result. Okay, so similarly, now let us check uh, this property that is A star A inverse should give you the E. Now, operator we are selecting as plus. Now, let us uh, write this as A plus A inverse should give you the identity element that is E. Now we have we know that identity element for plus operation is a zero for multiplication is it is one. So what will be a, a inverse? So write it as a zero here and solve it for the a inverse because we know uh, a element we know identity element we have to find the a inverse. So a inverse can be written as minus a. A inverse can be written as minus a. Let us take an example a equals to two. So a plus minus two is equals to sorry 2 plus minus 2 equals to a 0 that means it is satisfying the property okay so z plus is satisfying the property now let us check z star z multiplication will satisfy this property or not okay now let us take an example a equals to 2 okay now a into a a star a inverse or a multiplied by a inverse should give you the identity element. So for multiplication identity element is a 1. So a into a inverse is equals to 1. So it should be a inverse. So a inverse equals to 1 by a and 1 by a doesn't belongs to a z. 1 by a doesn't belongs to a z. So that is why z comma star sorry z comma multiplication is not inverse now let us take an another example uh, real number comma multiplication so real number are from a range of real number is minus infinity to plus infinity real numbers are from minus infinity to plus infinity and that includes the uh, that includes the uh, fractional numbers also so we can clearly say that if a is equals to 2 a inverse is equals to 1 by 2 and both belongs to a comma a inverse belongs to a real number that is why this real number and multiplication operator satisfy the inverse property now let us understand the group so what is group now group let us write definition so what is group group is known as mono id mono id that satisfies inverse property mono id that satisfies the inverse property is called as the it's a group why we are written mono id because group should satisfy all the properties that is closure associative and identity and mono id satisfies all these three properties that's why we are writing it as mono id that satisfies the inverse property is a, a group 
Okay, now next picture we uh, study uh, some examples based on the group and uh, abelian group.